Gene Reagan has spent his memorable career spreading the word about agriculture. From the time he contributed working as a county extension agent to the years spent working as a farm broadcaster, Reagan has devoted his life to informing others about agriculture. I'm very grateful that I had the opportunities I did. It could have been the other way around. I think about it sometimes. I, I think about, well, you could have done better in this particular area. But you might not have even been in that area. You might not have had that opportunity to start with. So if you didn't do your very best or you made a mistake or two, so what? But I, I am very grateful. Born in 1924 in Early County, Georgia, Reagan spent much of his time exhibiting his champion cattle. He was inducted as a Master 4-H member after becoming the Georgia 4-H Meat Animal Champion. Reagan completed his first two years of college at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College, then moved to the University of Georgia, where he served as president of the Collegiate 4-H Club and vice president of the Intercollegiate 4-H Club. It started when I was almost 10 years old. I went to the bank, borrowed $25 to pay 10 cents a pound for a 250-pound Hereford calf. I put that calf on an old bobtail cow. He nursed that cow, and I fed him and took him to the Albany, Georgia Fat Cattle Show, and he was reserve grand champion. Other champions followed. I became the Georgia Meat Animal Champion, won a trip to Chicago. And then later I was inducted into the Master 4 H Club, and later as a young county agent, I became the president. After graduation from University of Georgia, Reagan went on to work for the Extension Service in Grady, Stewart, and Seminole Counties for more than six years. In 1953, Reagan began work broadcasting radio farm shows. Five years later, he made the transition to television when he started broadcasting farm reports in Dothan, Alabama, and his print media works included writing the farm page of the Dothan Eagle. really started with radio in late 1953. I did radio for, from late 1953 to 1958 and then got into television. I was concerned. I had to... I had to do my own marketing. I sold it to feed dealers and tractor dealers, took it to the station, here it is. I paid them, they didn't pay me. I collected the money, paid them, and, and uh, took my part out. That's how I got started. Nobody hired, nobody gave me a job. For 45 years, he aired nearly 30,000 shows until his 1998 retirement. Reagan made further contributions to the agricultural sector outside of the communications field. In 1975, he became a farm consultant for South Trust Bank of Dothan, serving Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. He aided in the coordination of the Tri-States Panel for Agriculture and Agribusiness, which met to discuss issues on a regional and national level. In 1982, Reagan organized the Southeastern Beef Cattle Conference, which encompassed animal science deans from the universities of Georgia and Florida and Auburn. Reagan also produced a 115-page farm income, trends, and prospects survey for the Dothan Area Chamber of Commerce for the Tri-States region. We did the work of maybe a number, maybe 10 county agents on television. We did as much work. I'll give you an example. We'd have, maybe we showed hogs one night. We showed beautiful little purebred pigs and the mother sow and so on. And uh, people that raised hogs would see them and they'd call that owner after the show and buy those pigs. So we placed a lot of purebred pigs. And that's one of the jobs the county agents are supposed to do. In 2006, Reagan was inducted into the National Association of Farm Broadcasters Hall of Fame. His 40-plus years of farm television is considered to be the longest in the nation at a single station. Reagan's work has left him with seven other Hall of Fame inductions and related honors. I felt real good about it, but you, you know what I'd be able to think about? If it hadn't been for the land-grant colleges that I worked with, if it hadn't been for that, I never would have been up there because those people... Uh, supplied a lot of needs for, for shows, information, and so on. Reagan is married to the former Marilyn Middleton and currently resides in southeast Alabama. Congratulations to Gene Reagan, the 2010 inductee into the Georgia Agricultural Hall of Fame.